Bye, guys. Uh, thanks for watching Sky's Hobbies. Uh, I do this thing on FB where uh, I select somebody locally that's got a check engine light on and needs help and yada yada. So uh, I selected a few people. I do it every other Friday. Today I'm going to look at this 2002 Dodge Caravan. Um, it's got EVAP codes. She already knows the codes. Uh, I'll show you the secret way to pull the code to verify and uh, maybe do a little bit of diagnosis. So make sure you subscribe while you're watching and uh, hit the like if you want. Oh yeah, also, whatever you're working on, uh, the year making model, if this helps you out, go ahead and post it below in the comments if you can, please. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Alright, so today, see if I can help you out and give you a little diagnosis. But uh, this one was a real easy one. We're going to do the hack on pulling the code first, which is key in the on position three times. One, two. Four four two four five five. I'm gonna worry about an evap leak on this, or I did worry about. Uh, real easy. Slid the purge solenoid off. I took the hose off of it, and I just put a hose in the bottom one that would go on your purge solenoid. Uh, and then I just blew in it. I took the air cleaner off the whole box just so I could access some more of the evap lines in the back especially this one right here. Uh, these are a real common. These right here are super common to go bad too but I got this hose connected. I'm gonna blow in that side. What I'm watching for is this hose right here and I'm watching these hoses right here for leaks. Hopefully you can see that one down there. Right down here. Got my soapy water. Spray it on real good. Spray it on real good. And now this hose I'm gonna blow in. I'm not blowing much, but do you see these bubbles down here? Yeah, blowing it and that comes out like that there's nothing coming out over here these have already been replaced but can you see that down there whoa right here blowing it in again so there is our problem let's go ahead and fix it that one off look at that looking like but so make sure that you get some fuel evap hose got them gardeners like this it's got to be evap to be smog legal I wasn't sure if it was a 5 16 like this one but I got a 5 16 and a 3 8 5 16 is going to be the right hose. So I'm just going to match up the two lengths. Cut it right there. Now I got two same lengths. Let's go ahead and put it on. on it. It's always good to have some lube right guys and gals. Probably be a good idea if you could hold the bottom. Alright. Can you see that? I'm really hoping that you can. Alright, so new hose right here. Spit on this one a little bit. Perfect. Alright. 
perfectly looking sealed hose is a bitch to put on so gives you some more assurance that it's nice and sealed up. I'm gonna put this housing back on. Put the pops into place on the bottom and We got a retaining bolt right here. That's a 10 millimeter. To get it off, you just pull up on it. There's two tabs on the bottom. Back, back. Click in, that's it. So this is putting it back on. Put your air filter back in. The right way. That's it, now we're gonna clear the light, put, put some miles on it, and uh, see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna use my cheap little program to clear the codes. Trouble codes, here's the codes that we were worried about. 442, 455, the other codes come on because uh, I unplugged something while it was running, so those are false codes, but these were the initial problems that we had. Let's go ahead and clear it. ...to verify that the monitors were reset uh, and that it actually did its job, and it did, so here we go. Okay, so we just got done with that uh, little diagnosis and repair hopefully it's just that little hose i ended up replacing the two hoses on the uh, evap uh, service port connection too those are pretty loose so got those all um, replaced i cleared the check engine light and she's gonna have to drive that vehicle 50 to 70 miles with at least a half a tank of gas to get the monitors to set so she can be able to pass smog uh, when it does pass or when i do hear back from her i will uh, post an update let you guys know if this was the right fix so thanks for watching like subscribe and share i'll see you guys on the next uh, little diy fix